I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, and drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me. And people like you wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. What's up, YouTube? This is the 2024 La Costeña Jalapeno Festival Jalapeno Eating Contest. If you look over to camera right, my left, you will see Dan Killer Kennedy and Molly Schuyler, respectively. Um, it was an honor to go up against them in the jalapeno eating contest. I probably would have been starstruck sitting next to a couple of legends and uh, such respected names in eating like themselves, except uh, I was freezing out there. It was cold. Uh, more on that later. So for anybody that didn't know, uh, for this contest, they actually count the stems at the end. So they count the stems. It's kind of a shame they don't do it by weight because the jalapenos, of course, are of uh, varying sizes. I will say, fortunately, these were uh, pickled jalapenos, which uh, go down easy. They're nice and juicy and uh, not as spicy as fresh jalapenos, I've heard. So I just want to point out before the contest starts, uh, those 20 water bottles you see, uh, I think, you know, two of them were mine. Um, the other 18 belonged to uh, Dan Kennedy. Uh, you'll see he was just pounding water the entire time. I'm not really sure why. Because like I said, they are good and juicy. Um, water, not entirely necessary. Uh, you heard Dan ask me if I was cold. Uh, I was. I was woefully underdressed. Uh, I had three layers on. I had a hoodie on, but I was just standing out there for it. The contest got delayed, and I was just standing out there for uh, just what felt like an eternity. Uh, Dan and Molly, uh, they got some kind of VIP treatment, which uh, is good for them. They got like carted in out of nowhere right before the contest started, and I was just standing there right off stage, just freezing for hours. So. He looks really confident, um, man. Hey, yeah, maybe when my name is as big as theirs, oh, dude, here we go. Um, I'll get that VIP treatment. Like that's that's right not to say they weren't standing around in the cold for hours, too. I just uh, have no way of knowing. Like I said, they just swooped in like bats, ready to uh, take the jalapeno eating world by storm. Hey, number one, our reigning champion going for her sixth title, Molly Schuler. Molly, how do you feel? Here we go. Usually, how are you feeling tonight? <laughs> so is everybody else. Come on, you're white. You're supposed to be okay with the weather. Dan, <laughs> I don't have your last name on this one. Are you ready, Britt? Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Brought the cold from Pennsylvania, so we're good. In case you was wondering why it's cold, you all brought the cold. Yeah. We have a foot of snow at home, though. So you're a foot of snow. That's right. Sorry, Laredo, Texas. We, the gringos brought in the cold, and we also came to smash the jalapenos. Luciano! Tanner Gray! Tanner Gray! Oh, Tanner, where are you from? Don't say here! Now, uh, I came all the way up from South Carolina. South Carolina! Let him hear it! Tanner Gray, welcome to Laredo! You ever go, Tanner? Nope. No. <laughs> it's only gonna get worse, bro. It's probably warmer back home. Do I have anybody else I didn't introduce? Everybody else got introduced, right? All right. You know the 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Don't spit up. You get disqualified. Keep the stems. The stems is what they count. Jerry, are you ready over there? I'm ready. I'm ready to see the jalapeno eating contest. Are you ready? We got heat wave. We're gonna do the countdown. Ready? Are y'all ready, Laredo? Woo! The countdown is five. Okay, okay. All right, let them put them in the tray. Let them put them in the tray. Let them put them in the tray. They're getting all crazy over there. I like how they only pick two or three of them. No, it's a lie. On that guess, on that those nachos. Listo, Jerry. Listo. I'm gonna do the countdown. We're ready in five, four. Three, two, one, and they're off. This 
So, you guys probably saw my uh, my training video for this contest. I'm going with the same strategy here, just trying to eat two at a time, as fast as I can. Uh, I'm not really sure if I took big bites or small bites, but they're going down pretty easy. Tanner is not messing around, he's going double fisty, look at that! He's fucking eating jalapenos the way I drink beers, look at this! So the guy on the mic, he was having a good time with it. Uh, you heard him say, I eat jalapenos like he drinks beers. All I know is uh, that it was efficient. Uh, juice was flying everywhere. I, I just want to apologize to old Killer Kennedy next to me. I mean, I probably doused him in juice, and I definitely doused myself in jalapeno juice. Thinking back, I uh, believe in the practice run, I did about 25 jalapenos in a minute and a half. So I had a pretty decent pace out of the gate. So yeah, the announcer MC, he was pretty impressed. Uh, I didn't know this ahead of time. I just filled out an application to compete in this contest. I didn't realize there was an amateur and a pro division. Um, this is my second contest ever, so I was in the amateur division. I didn't, re I didn't even realize there was, there was two divisions. Um, if I had known that, I probably would have gone ahead and competed as a professional. It was an opportunity for more prize money. And of course, uh, Dan and Molly, they were the only two people registered as professionals there. I made a big deal about the jalapenos going down easy, but you can already see I'm starting to struggle. There, I take a sip of water. Uh, they're already trying to come back up. It, it got hard fast, in a hurry. Oh, we're going to have a good time. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. Seriously, we're going to be at Kako Vila and They're not. They're gonna be the inside. Bunchies. Twelve minutes. Twelve minutes. Los And one more time, La Costanya. Hundred and one years, man. Our biggest sponsor. Jalapeno Festival started back in the eighties, man. These guys have been our primary sponsor ever since. Then. Give it up, La Costanya. Thank you. And there it is. You can see my hand shaking. That's that's more or less from the cold. My mouth was burning. The rest of me was cold. No, I'm wincing again. Um, this is not one of those contests you enter uh, because you want free food. Um, you're trying to win a prize at this time. I, I feel like a lot of eaters at dinner contests because they want free food. But, uh, this ain't one of them. This was pretty uh, miserable start to finish. And especially afterwards. Yeah, this is painful to watch. I mean, my body is trying to reject those jalapenos. It's actually something I struggle with uh, a lot when I'm speed eating. Because my body's just telling me, slow down, slow down. And I don't want to slow down, and I just push it to the limit. Um, I mean, if you're doing these contests, you got to push it to the limit. I think I'm getting better and better at pushing my limits where I'm about to vomit uh, without actually vomiting. Shout out to Z93, bro. 
Jerry Fabichula dude helping us out up on stage, man. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. C93, number one rated radio station in Laredo. The last year, but I said, Oh, we're having a good time up here. At least most of us are. Some of us are not having a good time up here. Look, he's enjoying it. I like that. Dude. He's enjoying it. Thumbs up, baby. You good? Yeah. He's good. He's good. He's good. Hey, Less than six minute, minutes in, it looks like I'm just casually enjoying jalapenos. Uh, I was eating at a very, very pedestrian, casual pace. You can see Dan and Molly, they don't slow down. That's that's why they're the best. I mean, for the first couple minutes, I might be able to keep pace with them. I'm not sure. I think maybe I could, but they're not going to slow down. I mean, these people can eat 20 pounds of food. It's, it's insane. I struggle to eat, you know, seven and a half pounds. Yeah, in these big time contests against great eaters, it's it's all about stamina. How long you can maintain that, that pace that you start out with. Because we can all start out pretty fast. You know, how long can that pace be maintained? And of course, the level I'm on, I just grind to a halt at some point. Yeah, if, there, if contests were three minutes long, I'd be great. But yeah, this was a 15 minute contest. Obviously, with Molly and Dan, I had no chance. But like I said earlier, we were actually in two different divisions. I was in the amateur division. They were pros. So even though I was competing against them, I wasn't really competing against them. I was competing against uh, a bunch of local guys. That, uh, who knows? They may enter the contest every year. Uh oh. Eight minutes, eight minutes, eight minutes in heaven. Oh, I'm going to tell you right now. Eight minutes left? This is what I see a lot of them hitting the wall. I remember last year and the year before last. This is when they started hitting the wall. I started hitting the wall. So you heard him say uh, competitors start hitting the wall around the eight minutes to go mark. Uh, I started hitting the wall well before that just because I probably am faster. Right. Everybody there except for you know, Molly and Dan. But, I mean, I probably started hitting the wall after three or four minutes. Alexander, we have good. Oh yeah, dude, you guys are impressive, man. I ain't even messing with you. Look at this. And vez en cuando llegan unos que no más como unos treinta, uno veinte. Mira, güey, mames. Wow, look at this. What the way you ain't messing around, Amber. So I made it to the third bag, and I'm not rushing at all because at this point I'm just, just fighting against the, the gag reflex. Struggling to keep what I've eaten already down. Which, by the way, I believe the requirement for this contest was to hold everything down for at least, it was either three or five minutes if I remember correctly. So, in, in case anybody's wondering, it's it's really my stomach that wants to reject the jalapenos. My mouth really is fine. Uh, I eat spicy food all the time. I love hot sauce, love spicy food. I even eat Carolina Reaper. That's not the problem. It's just when all that spice compounds in your stomach, it, this, your stomach wants it. My stomach wants it out. I don't know about other people. Um, I could eat real spicy food. My mouth would be fine, and I'll, I'll feel nauseated. That's how it goes with me. You can tell I look pretty nauseated. I'm still working on the first water bottle, too. Look at Dan pounding the water. 
Uh, I'm not sure if it helps him with the spice at all or not. But maybe it just, you know, he pounds the water and maybe it dilutes the spice in his stomach. Um, I just can't afford to drink that much water. I mean, I'm sure there's something to it. I just can't afford to take up valuable space in my stomach with water. So I try to drink as little as possible. Now there's a small one in my hand, a small jalapeno. Thinking back, when I was this full, we only had a, a few minutes left in the contest. I should have strategized and just tried to eat all the tiny ones, but I don't even think I was paying attention to the size of the remaining jalapenos. Or maybe it was, I'm not sure. But that's definitely the strategy. Because they count the stems, so try to eat the smallest ones possible after being full. I was going nice and easy as the announcer claimed. Uh, that's kind of, you know, these contests, challenges, that's kind of how it is, you know. Try to get off to a hot start. Get out in front and try to coast to victory. That's what you're trying to do. Jeez, that man in front of you is not enjoying life at that moment. Holy moly. The shaking. Boy, it was cold though. And it probably wasn't even that cold. But I have lost 100 pounds of weight in the last year or so. So I'm just not used to it. You know, the mean kids used to pick on me and call me a polar bear, which. Actually, if you're going to make fun of someone, don't call them a polar bear. Polar bear is badass, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, no, a polar bear would have done great in these conditions, but, of course, a polar bear wouldn't touch jalapenos. They would just, you know, eat your flesh off your bones. Yeah, you can tell from looking at me, I'm, I'm done. I mean, I was happy that I, I laid it out on the line. I'm always, you know, win or lose, whatever happens, I'm happy when I leave it all out on the field, so to speak. That's what makes me happy. That's what makes me not come away with it, with uh, regrets. Just leaving it out there.
officially done. They're going to start counting the stems. We're going to find out who the winner is professional. And in the amateur ranks, Cherry. I was very impressed. Me too, me too. On this side, we have a lot of talent over here in Mexico. I mean, the stems you see over here, Bungie, wow, man. Look at you, look at you, representando la dedo. Tanner, how do you feel, Tanner? Oh, oh, oh you're my shaking. goodness. Yeah, that was hilarious. I had no words. Just animal grunts. This is not like filling yourself up with normal food. This is spice, and it just gets worse and worse the longer you let it sit in your stomach. All right, well, it's over. At this point, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And, uh, of course, let's get to the results. So, I... I came in third place overall. So, of course, Molly Schuyler dominated. She ended up with 329 jalapenos and a six-peat. Uh, Dan Kennedy finished with 191. Still uh, extremely impressive in a second-place bid. Third overall and first in the amateur category is the one and the only Tanner Man Can. So, yes, third overall, first-place amateur category, and I crushed the amateur division. Uh, the final tally was 135 jalapenos for your boy, um, it looks like the, the second and third place competitors finished with 91 and 85 jalapenos. So, you know, that made me decide that when I enter these contests in the future with amateur and pro categories, I'm probably closer to the pro category. Now, I was kind of right in the middle. I, you know, about 40 or so more than the, the second place amateur and uh, 50 less than Dan Kennedy. So... Uh, you know, I'm right in between amateur and pro. I guess I'm a low-level pro. As far as my level of talent, you know, not actually a professional leader, but um, if I've got the opportunity to choose, do I enter as an amateur or a pro? I mean, I'd rather punch up than punch down. I mean, you know, these people that don't do these contests, it's like taking candy from a baby, almost. And of course, uh, if anybody's wondering, uh, no, the jalapenos did not stay down. And it was an involuntary reaction. Thankfully, uh, after that five-minute window that we had to sit through. So I did hold him down long enough to uh, win the amateur category and get the, the big trophy. And that's always fun, carrying a big trophy around. But no, my stomach wasn't having it. They came up. I mean, I wouldn't lie to you guys. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for following me along on my competitive eating journey. I think... You know, we're just trying to get a little bit better every day, train, get a little bit faster. I mean, I'm just ecstatic that I finally found a hobby that I'm good at and enjoy in this lifetime. And I really hope everybody can do the same. And, uh, gosh, at some point, I hope I could compete with these, you know, the Molly Schuylers and the Dan Kennedys. But, you know, right now, you know, just starting out, I think we're at a good level. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for following me on this journey, and uh, stay tuned for more competitive eating action.